Okay, I would like to help you understand how your municipality develops its budget. We always hear about them, and often this can feel like another language altogether. Before we get started, there is important information you should know. Ontario municipalities like Chatham-Kent receive only 9% of all taxes collected, but are responsible for over 50% of the infrastructure. Let's start by looking at what the word budget means. Well, simply put, it's a planned, itemized summary of money that is coming into the municipality and how that money is spent for a specific period of time. It's very important to note that provincial legislation in Ontario states money coming in equals money going out, also known as revenue equals expenditures or a balanced budget. The municipality of Chatham-Kent provides hundreds of services to the residents of Chatham-Kent, so council and administration always have to make difficult decisions to ensure this balancing takes place. There are two main components of the budget when looking at the money going out side of the scale. Operating pays for all the day-to-day -day activities of the corporation. This includes items such as salaries and wages, utilities, supplies, fuel, and insurance, just to name a few. The capital budget pays for all the new big investments or the rehabilitation of current assets under the municipality's control. So let's focus on how the municipality collects to pay for all these services. For every dollar that comes into the city, 50 cents comes from property taxes, 38 cents from grants and subsidies, and 12 cents from user fees and other sources. So now we've learned what a budget is, how municipalities collect money, and how they spend it. Now let's take a look at how these pieces work together. Money comes in through property taxes, grants and subsidies, and user fees. The money collected is required for both the operating and capital budget. We've already talked about the operating budget, including day-to-day -day expenses, but it also includes money for funding capital budgets. The capital budget pays for all the new big investments or the rehabilitation of current assets under the municipality's control. This connection is made through three methods. The capital levy method reflects a pay-as-you-go approach. The reserve fund method, which reflects a planned save now, acquire or use later approach. And the debt payment approach. Okay, so let's recap. One, a budget is a plan for money coming in and money going out. There are two building blocks to the municipal budget, operating and capital. Two, the operating budget is like paying your house bills to keep the lights on. Just like in a normal household, our bills go up with inflation. Three, the capital budget is like your major outlays, vehicles, house, renovations, etc. Four, money comes in from three sources, property tax levy, user fees, and grants and subsidies. Five, money coming in is used to deliver hundreds of services to municipal residents. Six, Council and administration, with the input of the public, decide how to best balance the municipal budget guided by provincial legislation. And that is how your municipality develops its budget.